welcome to the second red line how to fiberglass video. This time it's about making seats for racing cars and I'll try and avoid duplicating anything in our previous tutorial. I'll begin by showing how to finish off a timber die of a seat and then I'll make a fiberglass mould of it. Then I'll make a carbon fibre seat from an existing fiberglass mould. This is a fairly basic plywood dummy of a seat that a mate of mine made for his historic Formula Ford open wheel racing car. And this is what I'm going to make the fiberglass mould of. He'll then take that mould and use it to check that the seat fits his car. And if it does, then we'll make a seat for him out of that mould incorporating any changes that we've had to make. I've checked my friend reclining in this timber dummy and there's room here to round off these internal corners. I'm going to use the scrap garden hose and filler to get a smooth rounded edge. It's a technique I often use in sculpting car parts because it's an easy way to ensure that I get a constant radius. finish rounding off the corners by giving it a light sand and now I'm going to coat the whole of this timber mould with epoxy resin to seal it before I start. three layers of cloth and if this mould works out it may actually end up being the seat itself. The only problem with that is that you get this hairy uh, finish on the inside from the fibreglass hairs that can be a bit abrasive. So to get a smooth surface what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of this on now which is called peel ply. It's sort of like a silky material. You roll that on while it's still wet. You leave it and it dries with a job and then when you're finished you peel it off and you get a smoother surface.
Now I'm going to take a fiberglass mould I made off a seat a mate of mine loaned me a few years ago and we're going to make a carbon fibre reproduction of it. that I made from the same mould. Fiberglass cost about $100 in materials. Carbon fibre, over $450. Fiberglass weight, about 24.5 kilos. Carbon fibre, a mere 3.5 kilos. I found the carbon fibre much harder to work in at tight corners than fiberglass chop strand mat. Because although it stretches a bit, carbon fibre is a woven material. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope it proved informative and helpful for you. Check out my other videos here at WJP004.